we'll uh, go ahead and call the Cobb County Board of Education called a meeting on October 5th, 2016 to order. Uh, everybody's seen the agenda. Very simple. Second. All in favor? Well, at least you will give us our indication today. I will. We will thank you for that many blessings. Keep us from harm as we see this storm that's near in Florida and Georgia. And we just pray that you'll, you'll uh, keep uh, people safe and, and uh, damage and possible injury or even death uh, away from people in Florida and Georgia and just uh, let, uh, let that uh, storm not come in this direction, certainly. And Lord, we just pray that you'll keep keep people safe. And uh, Lord, we just uh, ask that you give us wisdom as we have this meeting here today and that we use good judgment in your name and that we uh, make decisions that are in the best interest of our young people and our children here in Coffee County. And Lord, we just give you thanks. And, and I would ask for on a special healing, Lord, for, for Manny Johnson and Mr. Johnson as they had to deal with, with uh, illness in their family, Lord, and be with them and comfort them. And Lord, we're just thankful to be able to meet here today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We've got the Nichols Elementary School uh, bid that has been open yesterday. We've got an architect here, Mr. Vic Suttles. You can see on the bid sheet that the uh, bid tabulations are in. And the base bid, uh, low bid is Charles E. Lewis Construction with $7,100,000. Vic, do you want to describe the bid sheet here, tabulation? And yes, yeah, yeah. Of course, they tabulated in the order that the, the plans were issued, and uh, we opened them in that same order. And, of course, the first column there is the base bid that everybody bid on. The ad alternate number one was to provide an additional cost to go with a different type flooring in the MCT in lieu of the VCT in the classrooms and corridors. You know, the BCT is what you got out here in the main corridors of the school here. And it's a marbolium composition tile. And uh, the advantage of it is that you don't have to buff it and wax it on a periodic basis. And as you can see, it's uh, the, out, the low bid alternate, number one on that, 72,000, works out about a dollar twenty-five square foot additional cost if you went that route. Uh, then the, the calendar days are the, the days that the contractors stipulated on their form bid proposal that they could do the project in. And then the next column is their the surety, their bond company. And then the next is where they stipulate any change orders, what the percentages would be for general contractors or subcontractors. And as you see, we had seven qualified bidders and they all, all seven showed up. And most of them were within a good range. We had two that from North, had one from Augusta and one from Peachtree City. That said it's a completely different market up there as you can see. Is there any questions? Question. Are we going to use minority and subcontract? You know, I'm not sure uh, as far as the selection process that the, the contractor has for selecting uh, subs, if they uh, have have any uh, ability to try to use an already subcontractor, I, I would hope that they would consider that. Uh, you know, we talked about this a couple of years ago. Yes, sir. And uh, that's all I want to do is you know, change. That's yes, all I want. I don't have time. Yes, sir. I don't put no uh, danger in the chance. I read it to you. Yes, sir. You consider that, I appreciate it. Well, we've got our, our two representatives from Lewis here, Ron Lewis and Mitch Lewis, and I would just ask y'all as you go through the process, 
uh, that you certainly uh, giving the minority contractors a chance to to have a shot at any of the work that y'all would be doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. The base bids look like they're all pretty much in line and everything, but can someone explain why the uh, adult there is the lowest one is thirty-two thousand and goes all the way up to one hundred fifty-one thousand? Wow, how? <laughs> that's yes. a big variance. That is, a, that is a big variance on that particular floor, and yeah, it's it probably just a matter of their subcontract, the flooring contractors, what kind of price they may have got. It's a product that we've not used. It's a different product than what you see out here. This that we right, have in most of our schools, we have to buff and use wax on. So we want to try, if we could, a new product. Yeah, but I think that's a great idea. I just didn't understand the variance in the pricing of it. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just curious. You can still sit here. That's all right, Justin. Look, there's a lot of sales about uh, just to use our local contractors for our job. We still an issue can we use that? As far as what? Yeah, I think that's too many deals. Lewis and well, I mean, Lewis and Harper are both the, the, actually the two lower bids, if I believe that's right. That's right. Yeah, it is correct, but I'm just saying, uh, do, by law, do we have to use all these seven? No, I mean, I think we, I mean, you know, I mean, Mike, you can answer it, but I think he's opened up one on bid bids, and yeah. that's what we When you advertise for bidding, you take your bid from the bid whoever bid higher. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah design bid build that we we go through. But we had the authority as the board you said we just want to do it and pop it to do our work. We don't have to see I'm gonna have to throw that one to council. You gonna see it? Yes sir. Give me an answer. <laughs> well that would be kind of difficult when you do it what Mike called a design bid build. The uh, when uh, the project was designed by the architect and then you place it out for bid and at that point and the board did one time i think when you were on mr jowers uh, and, and mr preston did something different maybe on uh, west side or at least they did it on the the assay field at least uh the fairfall field. fairfall field but that's called a proposal and rather than the bid Generally, when you're going to do design the project and then you bid the project, you are supposed to, if it's over a $100,000 project, because this obviously is, you award it to the the lowest responsible, responsive bid. And responsible the question that, you know, Mr. Lewis has termed one of the best around this part of the state, in Harper. Uh, and they're also their bid is responsive. It's addressed the issues and meets all qualifications. So generally, you would award it to the lowest response. Hey, I'm the problem with neither one of them. I'm just saying we do a proposal. If they get one, I'll get one. I'm working back that way. Well. Now, let me tell you, see, what I'm saying. If these seven people come here and pay splash money and get these projects, will be some upset people. That's why I'm going on. I don't want nobody that don't live in Cobb County to take money from this town. I don't want that. I never did and never will. I don't want it. If they ain't lose or hopper, I, I really don't want to sell them. And so I, I was for we to do proposals and make sure these two get them. Because the man from Augusta, oh, he can be come get your money and tell you thank you. But Harper don't pay taxes, and the Blues pay taxes. Right here in Coffee County. Check your tax bags. I guarantee you it's up there. That's why I want to have the money. So you tell me, what can we do? We could consider a proposal, but if we, and you could make the uh, proposal criteria uh, whether their distance from the the site job and certain things, but at the end of the day, it's got to be 
objective. You can't, uh, the Harpers and Lewis would never come up and conspire. But if you put it out there that you're going to get this one and you're going to get this one, uh, this could have been a $10 million project. And when you bid, it comes in at $7 million, or if you took it in on a proposal and really there, Harper and, and, and Lewis are competing on each other. But I know from the city, y'all might remember 20 years ago, they all of a sudden just, they would always award it to the lowest bidder, Joy. <laughs> but then you got where nobody from out of town was bidding on things. So the price goes up. So you are the custodians of the taxpayers' money. And yes, I'm a big believer. And the ad, I mean, when the squash and these people support a squash, it all stay here. Mm -hmm. and, and there's certain ways we can design that. Uh, Mr. Sellers might recall how we designed uh, one for the Industrial Authority for the uh, Park West. Yes. And uh, very much favored these two. Uh, Kent considered there being chamber memberships and how much does it uh, and, and all these different things. You can tilt one in their favor, but if you then today when you've got to you've got to be a good custodian. I think you and Dr. Lee's and Vic get together in May and find out what can we do as a board to be legal. That's all you got to do. Just get ready and y'all go brainstorm and let's we'll see. Well I what ain't gonna be But we would probably need to discuss it with the board to make sure the board, we actually gave a preference on a, on a west side we were going to, or on, on a Fairfield. And we gave a 3% preference, where we had something where, they, where, where these people got a, 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 a preference by, in effect, being local. We didn't have to say it, but it was that. I don't know. I'm glad we did that on the west side. We talked about we it. Talked. I know somebody from out of town did it on the west side. Yeah, they did. Uh, Harper or uh, Nashville, Nashville, yeah, uh, right, right, construction. But we, uh, I'm thinking about Fairfield. We gave him some, but you just can't make it where, you know, I'm going to be your lawyer regardless of what I charge or whatever I do, whether I get good advice or bad advice. You, you got to have some objectivity, but I will discuss it with you. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm recommending that we accept the base bid by Charles Lewis Construction Company of seven million one hundred thousand dollars for the construction of Nichols Elementary School. The ad alternate. I'm not uh, recommending that we, we accept the 72,000 right now. I think we accept the base bid of 100000 and we'll study the floor and some more. So go ahead and accept the base bid of 100000 And if, if we find that we can do the flooring, uh, then we'll come back to the board and ask for, ask for approval on that later today. Dr. Lee, recommend? Yeah. Excuse me before you go forward, uh, we want to kind of put forward the, that we may pull the kitchen equipment out of this. Yeah, we'll, we'll inform the board that it, it, we've talked about all this coming out of East Foss funding, but we, we've got the money in nutrition to be able to pay for between two and $250,000 worth of kitchen equipment out of, out of nutrition funding. So just for the board's knowledge, uh, what has to come out of East Bloss may be around six hundred and ninety thousand. But that doesn't have anything to do with that's the bid. Right. That's right. That has system. nothing to do with the bid. Awesome. I recommend we accept the bid from Charles E. Lewis. Yeah, recommendation to use Charles E. Lewis construction to build Nickel School for seven point one million dollar base bid. Do we have a so motion? Second. Second. All in favor? Question. Oh, discussion. Start that. You want to tell me to go? Yeah. Huh? When they tell me to start. When who tells you to start? Us? Yeah. And we'll prove this bid today, you ready? <laughs> well, I don't know about tomorrow, but <laughs> we'll be ready soon enough. It's still a process we've got to get started. It's not going to be a month or two, though. No, sure. So I just want to see more. First thing you'll see will be Kent Fence. 
barriers, that kind of thing. That'll be the first thing you'll see happen. We got to make sure we get all the kids separated from us. And we have to go through the background check processes. And all you don't that. have to take down that fence side the highway? It will be taken down after construction. Right. And a new one put up. Right. Okay. I don't know if you had to take it down before or not. Now the, the entrance for construction is kind of halfway between 32 and the building. The yeah, through the playground where the little track is now. Yeah. That's where we'll be coming to go. The first thing will be all, all that equipment. We're going to start moving dirt, putting in drain tile. Anything else? All in favor? Opposed? Well, it's exciting times. We'll have a new school in Nichols before we know it. And, and we'll be meeting for a pre construction meeting real uh, soon. Yeah, so. Well, you got soon. no case to start. I'm saying we got the groundbreaking next got week. Today. <laughs> yes, sir. Groundbreaking is uh, Wednesday of next week at 9:30. So uh, we'll be setting up for that. Have you by board, so y'all can have some shovels ready for us. Uh, we got some. Great. Well, I'm gonna ask, do y'all need a load of sand, or y'all try to do it in the playground? Or? Yeah, a load of sand. What time Wednesday? 9:30. We uh, have we already sent out some invitations, invitations and all that. All right. Yeah, we could have like a little reception or something going on and push back the actual okay. actual start of it. Get everybody there at nine thirty. Have some fellowship and, and you know, fresh, so. yeah, we can we can talk, look at the old school. <laughs> Share some memories. Uh, so, what you gonna do with the gym? The old gym will stay. It will remain on site. And that brings up a good point. There are some old trophies in the main building that we need to make sure we preserve. The old trophies in the main building. Uh, get those out between our facility staff and our, our principal out there and they need to they need to have a yeah the principal so they need to get together and maybe even committee and figure out what they need to say about that and get all that taken care of. Did Mike ever leave? They are there as far as I know the principal Lori and, and our facilities maintenance director have already been corresponding about what they're gonna say. Yes, we were sir. we were in the uh, you're talking about the phase one demo building. Yes, sir. Is there some trucks and I were in there Friday or Monday? It's pretty well built. Right. There's a few chairs, a couple chairs, desks, all, 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 all the marker and tack boards, maybe, but it's pretty well been cleaned out. Yeah, I know Michael said he had it, they said it was pretty well cleaned out. All the IT stuff was out except for the old cabinets, which they never take those down, but right. But it looked clean. It's probably the phase two demo is, is what we're talking about. And that's so. 10 months from now. Yes, sir. Have any need for a session? No, sir. All right. Does anybody have anything else? Adjourned.